We put so much time and money into students from nursery to youth groups to children's church and the statistics shows that when a student goes to a secular university, 80% fall away from Christ. But with Chi Alpha, we completely flip that statistic. And so instead of 80% leaving the church, 80% stays in the church if they become a part of a ministry on campus. It makes me excited when we do outreaches on campus just to know that God wants to impact their lives in some way and bring them hope and joy um, into their life. We spend the majority of our time, you know, meeting one-on-one -on -one with, with students. We challenge them to actually take up the call that Jesus told us to do, which is to go and make disciples. And so we train them, we put them through, you know, discipleship training, and we challenge them to go and disciple their peers through small groups. This is how Jesus changed the world. Yes, he, he did do miracles in front of thousands of people, and yes, you can do services in front of thousands and hundreds of people or whatever, but Jesus changed the world with 12 guys, and so that's what we believe. You know, if we can pour our lives into a small group of people and challenge them and train them and equip them to go and do the same, then it'll grow exponentially. They expect me to do something involved with the ministry, and they expect more of me than, than what most people would. It really gets the best of who I am. It, it kind of gets me to do things that, that I didn't know I was capable of. It's just really encouraging um, when I look back where I was when I came to the University of Arkansas, how much I've grown. I'm really learning what it means to um, have your heart break for what breaks his. I don't just see the people on campus anymore and see them as that's a guy, that's a girl, that's a business major, that's this, that's whatever, people. I look at them and I wonder, do they know God? Are they going through the things that I was going through before I knew Him? And uh, it's grown my heart a lot more and it's made me a better leader. It's not necessarily a glamorous job when you're dealing with sin. When you're having to train a Christian that's grown up in the church their whole life, but you're having to tell them, did you read your Bible today? You know, did you actually pray today? Have you done that this week? You know, so that's, that's the majority of what we do is we just walk with them through life and disciple them through that stuff. I really see that they genuinely care about us. They've dedicated their lives just to, to speak into me and to be um, a part of my life and to, and to influence me and to teach me and um, help me grow, not only as a man, but as a follower of Christ. You don't see a lot of young couples um, doing all that they're doing and giving up so much of their time just for the cause of growing God's kingdom. So what they exemplify is something that I'd like to be. After about a year, God put a burden on my heart for student athletes. And he just kind of revealed to me that these student athletes are alone. A common story that we hear from athletes is they come in as freshmen and sophomores and they're, they're just the king of the world. You know, they you know, just rule the campus, ready to experience college the, the college life. And they woke up one morning somewhere between their sophomore and junior year and said, wow, this is not the life that I wanted for myself. You know, that's why we're there, is, is we're there to walk them through those problems, those decisions that alter their life. We're there to, to pick them back up and to send them out the right direction again.